Hey guys, it's James from Wingsoptics here, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this uh, package that I got from Blue Lizard Reptiles. Uh, just before I get into it though, there are a few things I want to say. First thing is, if you've clicked on this video expecting to see live reptiles, that's not what this is. This is equipment only. Uh, the company's name just happens to be Blue Lizard Reptiles. I know I got a lot of confusion about that on my other unboxing. Um, and secondly, uh, I just want to take this video to also spend a bit of time just explaining where I've been over the past couple of months and what's going to be happening with the uh, channel uh, in the next couple of weeks and months and stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that, but first of all, we'll just get straight into this unboxing. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I have used Blue Lizard Reptiles before in the past, and they were very good. Um, and what's in this box should give you uh, a good idea of what I'm planning to do in the future. Okay, so the first things that we have here up on top are two midnight black uh, heat guards and reflectors. Yep, there they are. Uh, also in here. We have two 100 watt ultra slim heat bulbs. Uh, these are probably some of the best ceramic bulbs you can buy uh, from White Python and they fit perfectly into these uh, reflectors. I'll just take both of those out. Uh, so basically, what I'm just going to be explaining here is where I've been for the past couple of months while well, I'll just show you uh, the, the last couple of products in here. Uh, also in here I have two holders for the, the ceramic lamps to go into. And I have two uh, two foot day white LEDs as well. So essentially that is a full heating and lighting setup for two vivariums. Um, but they haven't arrived yet. When they do I'll probably make another video about it. Okay so uh, the last video I actually made was back in April. And that was a Kelvin the Chameleon update video. And uh, in that video I just showed uh, Kelvin who was obviously I think I'd had him for two months then. Uh, since then, uh, I no longer have Kelvin. Uh, I can still go and see him because he currently lives with my brother. Um, I know a few people were asking me about that. But yeah, he, he now lives with my brother and I have actually got rid of a few of my other animals. Which is kind of why I took a bit of this break. Um, I've also been moving a few of my animals to different rooms. Uh, I'm currently moving my whole reptile room from downstairs to upstairs. And while I'm doing this, I'm getting new enclosures for a lot of them. Uh, which is what you've just seen me unbox, uh, the light and heating for some of them. Um, so basically it's just taken a couple of months and also YouTube had become very stale and stagnant for me. It was something I was being forced, to, well I felt like I was being forced to do week on week. So I just thought that the break has obviously done me a lot of good, allowed me to get everything sorted without me being pressured to make a video as well. Um, I don't know after this video when the next one will be because I only want to film I'll, I'll probably film when the vivariums get here and me building them, but then a video after that, well, I would like to be just a reptile room tour, but that probably won't be till the end of August because I need uh, I need some electricians to come to put in some new plugs uh, because there's only two in that room and it's a bit of a uh, fire risk to have everything overloaded on lots of extension leads. So I need two more plugs putting into that room. Uh, they're coming next week, I think, and then. That's just to give a quote, so they could, that might not be even installed for another week after that. Um, and then obviously I have to set up all the new enclosures, but I have to buy some new furniture because um, I need very different heights and I don't want them on the ground because, you know, then they'll all be low. So I need to find the right tables and stuff for them to go on. Um, and then basically I just need to organise the room out and, and get everything that I need sold, sold. Because that, that one stack that I had, the stack of ifs, they're all going. Um... Uh, and all the money that I get from that will be going into buying bigger enclosures. Um, so yeah, the, the probably one of the saddest things for me is losing all of the, the animals. I say all of them, it, it is only three. Um, Kelvin has obviously gone to my brother so I can still make videos on him. Um, but Coco and my Hognose 
have been sold just to reduce the size of the collection a bit make it a bit more manageable and um, stuff like that but yeah that's basically it for this video when the vivariums get here I will make a video unboxing and building those but then after that it will just be the room tour and that won't be for probably another 25 30 days so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have leave a like and subscribe and hopefully you'll see me a bit more in the future enjoy it, we've got it.